It is crypto faceless. I remain faceless. I remain nameless. Did you see Zen? Did you see Zen? Come on. I'm giving you guys the best cryptos available. I'm giving you guys the best, highest potential X's on the market. Like I've been saying, 1,000 X all but guaranteed, I think, right? This is not financial advice. I think it's my opinion, guys, okay? Important live from an undisclosed island vacation resort. <laughs> I've been wildly successful in crypto. I've been saying that since the beginning, and I want everybody to be wildly successful as well. Zen Crypto, right? I've been saying it's my first five-star pick. I've been in it since the beginning. It's been a year. Came out during the bear market, which is exactly what you want, right? You want a coin that came out during this bear market, right? What makes Zen so special, right? I talked about what makes the price of Zen go up in the last video. And as you see, the price right now is up. It's been up 100% in the past few days. Uh, we had a price increase in, 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 in BTC uh, when you had guys like Data Dash and other market analysts on Twitter and, and elsewhere, all right, talking about how, oh, we're not going to see another bull run. We're not going to see prices go back up. We're actually not going to see all-time highs. We're actually going to see all-time lows. We're going to go back below 15K in BTC. Uh, what about now? The price of Bitcoin went up five thousand dollars in a day, day and a half, right? What happened to their thesis? Is, right? What happened to those uh, all those bearish uh, videos and comments and remarks? Guys, don't listen to these guys. It's never different. This whole this time is going to be different. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not a good thesis to go by, especially in crypto. Right, we we have market cycles. It's been doing that every single time. Follow the cycles. We got the Bitcoin happening coming up in under four or five months. What? It's coming up in April, right? Last time I checked, it's April. So right now, this price going up is not. It's it, it it's it might be confusing to some, but not to me, not to anybody who analyzes markets, and not to anybody who knows the halving is coming up. Right, you're gonna see some a price price appreciation, um, not crazy, but you're gonna see price appreciation leading up into the halving, um, in April, right? Um, not to say that there can't be a black swan that you know, like ha what happened with COVID, um, in 2019, uh, that things like that could happen. We're going through a geopolitical situation right now. That could happen. It's, that's perfectly fine, but that doesn't define the market. It doesn't define the cycle, right? Black Swan events don't define anything. If you look at the four-year cycle, it's intact, right? These things happen. We have, you know, bull markets and bear markets. Right now we're in a bear market. We're going into a bull market, right? There's no reason to believe anything otherwise. So let's talk about Zen, right? Zen is one of the coins that went up with the market. When BTC went up, if you were in any coins that didn't go up, that's a sign. That's a bad sign. Right, Zen went up with the rest of the market. Right, that's a great sign. You want to be in coins that actually move with the market. Right, so if you're in any coins that didn't go up for the past few days, uh, it's I won't say get out of them. Of course, I'm not giving any financial advice, but it it it's a sign. It's not a good thing. But we, what 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 did we see with Zen? We saw Zen actually move up in price. Right, we went up a hundred percent from the bottom. Um. Uh, we saw increase in price with the rest of the market, which is healthy. That's what you want to see in your coin, right? In the last video, all right. So in the last video, I went on to explain how the price of Zen actually goes up, all right? Uh, I said that it goes up in two ways. The first way is with gas prices increasing, and the second way is with time or with demand, right? So uh, the first way is like you know during the bull market. ETH gas goes up crazy. You start seeing 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 guay, right? When gas is 100 guay or anywhere near it, people are not going to want to mint, right? Minting becomes too expensive, right? And people are just like, you know what? Let me just buy it off the market. That's when the price goes up. 
That's when the price goes up. It's like, man, forget mint. I'm going to buy it off the market, right? The other way is with time and demand, right? So when it comes to time, I mean, for example, let's say it's a year from now. We are right in the middle of the bull market, right? Because the halving is in April, right? A year from now would be, you know, sometime in, um, in October next year, right? That's going to be like in, in my opinion, the middle of the bear market or the um, later stages of the beginning of the bear market. And uh, not bear market, sorry, bull market, bull market. It's going to be during the bull market, right? So because it's during the bull market, people are not going to want to mint Zen crypto because if you mint it, in order to make a lot of money, when it comes to minting, in order to make a lot of Zen, you got to mint max term, right? So if you're going to mint max term, that means like 400 something days until you can actually claim your Zen, okay? Uh, which will probably be after the bull market. Right. So if you're already in the bull market, you don't want to max mint 400 something days because you're going to claim those mints after the bull market. Why would you want anything after the bull market? That's after the blow off top. That's after everybody has made all their money. That's after everybody has already sold. And you're going to be claiming, you know, Zen. All right. You're claiming for the next bull run. But why would you want to wait for the next bull run? Right. You understand? So no one's going to want to mint max term Zen during the bull market. Which means they're just going to buy it off the market, right? They're just going to buy it off the market. So that's your time uh, way of, you know, Zen going up, right? The other way is um, similar to that. It has to do with time, but mainly demand. That's when Zen projects come out. So the way Zen works is uh, it has a burn mechanism. So uh, what projects do is they um, have you burn Zen in order to get into their project. Right. So in, in order to participate in their project. Right. We saw that happen a lot uh, at the beginning when Zen first came out. There were a lot of different projects that were coming out and um, and you had to burn Zen to um, to, to participate. Right. Um, which is cool. But guess what? A lot of people don't actually have liquid Zen. Right. Because uh, you're 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 minting Zen. You're max minting Zen 300, 400 days out. So you don't actually have a lot of liquid Zen right right now and you want to participate in that project right now right there might be a deadline there might be a window of opportunity that i have to you know participate or to, in order to jump into that project and uh you need to have liquid zen to burn in order to do that and because you max minted or you have to max mint to make a lot of zen it's going to take a long time and you're going to miss out on the opportunity to jump into that project so what happens you buy Zen off the market. I've seen it happen. I've seen the price go up. It's happened when people were uh, burning Zen to get into D uh, DB Zen, to get into um, Zen Doge, to get into different projects that came out during that time, right? The price goes up because of it, because people start buying off the market, right? This is going to happen with X1, right? I, I'm, I keep saying this, but, you know, Jack is taking his time, but when it comes out, it's going to be amazing. When X1 comes out and people have to burn Zen in order to get an X1 allocation, the price is going to fly, guys. The price is going to fly, right? So has that happened the past few days? No. Actually, no. The price, but the price still went up, which is great, which is my point, actually. I'm trying to say, listen, the main ways that Zen goes up is through uh, Ethereum gas going up and... Uh, or gas prices going up, doesn't matter what blockchain it is, but gas prices going up, and then also um, demand and time. But none of that has actually happened right now. We're still in a bear market. Uh, projects didn't come out yesterday or day before yesterday, uh, making the price go up crazy. Uh, what else? You know, there was, we're not, you know what I mean? Like, none of that happened, but the price of Zen still went up with BTC and the rest of the market, right? This is a good sign. This is something that listen. We're gonna be we're gonna be seeing price appreciation in many different ways. Zen has shown signs of actually going up um, with the market. Um, I've seen it go up when projects come out. And people have to buy up the market instead of minting. Um, and you know, people want to talk about the tokenomics and say inflation and all this stuff, but those people don't actually know the mechanisms of what actually pushes the price of Zen. It's gas. 
is time, is demand, right? Those three things, gas, time, and demand will pump up Zen to what I believe will be a thousand X. And if it falls anywhere, you know, below that, we're cool with that too. What's a 500 X? Is that, is that a loss? It's not, right? We're winning here on this channel. That's it for today's Zen. I, I got some more crypto, uh, more cryptos I'm going to be dropping soon. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. It's crypto faceless. I remain faceless. I remain nameless. All right, guys.